Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden. I'll follow on golden, 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 golden things. In spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I'll follow him. Golden, golden, golden things. Good morning, everybody. Happy Monday. It's the 6th of February today. I I have a really busy today. Ugh. I have a really busy day today of packing orders because you will have seen me fill out my Emily Harvey Art sales tracker for this month. It's the 6th of February and I've already had 391 sales, which is insane, and they're all pretty much all Valentine's Day cards. So this is the pile of labels um that i need to get out today and this is the pile of cards that i need to cut score and package today all of these which is a lot my arms are going to be dead by the end of today um but yeah i just wanted to say hi quickly i'm going to get on and get these orders packaged ready to go and then i've got some of the things i'd like to do today hopefully if these orders don't take me too long to get out but i think i've got 180 orders here that i need to get out today so i need to get cracking on those i might try and take some like asmr shots of me packing the orders but i'll see how i get on because it does actually take quite a lot longer when you're filming packing orders rather than if i just film them because i have to like sort out the camera shots and things and i just want to get them done as quickly as i can so i'll see how we go maybe you'll see some asmr footage we'll see <laughs> So I've just finished cutting all the cards, like cutting them in half because I print two per A4 sheet. And my arms are already absolutely killing me and I've still got to score all of these, so that's going to be really fun. But this pile here, this pile here is literally just um, the You Crock My World card. It's my best seller this year. I've sold, I don't actually know how many I've sold in total. Last time I checked it was 166, which was a good few days ago now. So I'll put the updated number here. Um, and then this pile here is just other cards, so like general cards like birthdays or other Valentine's Day cards as well. So I put them in different piles so that then when I score them I just know 
like because most of the orders are going to be the Ukwok my world card so I can just grab one from that pile so yeah I'm going to score all of them now ones are done here and now I've just got to score this pile and then I can get them all packaged up and ready to go. I've just finished scoring all the cards. Literally if you want a good tricep workout give this a go. My arm is literally killing me. I literally feel like I've done about a thousand tricep dips right now. But just in one arm, so this arm's going to be like, and this arm's just not. Anyway, I've finished scoring all the cards, so I'm going to package them all up now. And then what I want to do for the rest of the day is, I want to design some backing cards for the enamel pins ready for when they arrive. Which hopefully shouldn't be too long. I know they still haven't been actually manufactured yet, because basically there was an issue with one of the pins, um... They, when they sent me the proof over they haven't like cut it out properly so we've had to like amend that and get another proof ready and then I need to pay a little bit extra because there's just a little bit more detail for them to cut out now so I need to pay the new invoice whenever they send that but they haven't sent it yet so as soon as that's sent then they should be sent off to be actually made which is really exciting all the proofs look so good i'm so happy with them you might have seen a sneak peek of them earlier when i filmed me on my laptop so i was just replying to um the woman i'm in contact with on this platform that they use but anyway i want to make some backing cards for the pins so that's going to be my next job when i get all these packaged up I go without knowing 
everything I all packed. I said I wanted to get it done by one o'clock and it's now 20 past one. So I'm 20 minutes over schedule, but it's fine. <laughs> um, I'm happy with that. I've packaged up 180 orders because when I printed my labels off, um, it tells you how many labels there are and it said 180. So yes, if you've placed an order over the past few days, then your order will be going out today on the 6th of January. I'll take those all to the post office later. I've got a cheese and broccoli mugshot for my lunch because I just want something quick. But yeah, now what I want to do is design some backing cards for the five new pins that I've got coming out in the next shop launch, whenever that'll be. I'm not sure yet, because they've not even been made yet. Um, but there's five designs, so I want to try and get at least two backing cards designed today <clears throat> for two of the enamel pins. I'm not sure which ones yet. And then I need to organise my office a little bit. So I don't know if you can see, but on the top of my shelves here, I have some um, of my mugs. So this is one of my mugs, Make Today a Good Day. I say it's one of them, it's the only mug and it's got a pink inside and a pink handle. Um, so I've got a few of those left and I, they're just lingering up there. And I've bought some cute pastel coloured crates from a small business called Fluorescent Store. Um, so I'm going to put those in there and then put those on my top shelf to make them look a little bit nicer because it's a bit messy at the minute. Um, but yeah, I'm going to eat my lunch now, do some designing and I'll show you the process as we go along. I've drawn this up as like a first draft for the smiley rainbow enamel pin backing card. I think I am really happy with it. I really like how it looks. I've done like a really light blue background with some white gradient as well. And then doodled some little clouds on there, some sparkles. And then the rainbow will obviously pin to the middle like this. Um, the rainbow colours have come up really weird on here. Oh, that's a bit better. Um... But yeah, like that orange in the middle doesn't look that dull on the actual thing. But the camera is picking it up quite weird. So yeah, I'm going to print some of these now and see what they look like printed to make sure that I'm really happy with them. And then if I am, I'm going to send off for them to be printed once I've done the other designs as well. I've also got a smiley peach pin coming out as well. So I'm going to do that one as well now, the backing card for it, because I'm going to keep that one really simple. I think I'm just going to do like a peach to white gradient as the background. Um, but yeah, I'll still show you it anyway.
and then here's the peach one so far so it's just a peach to white gradient and then when the peach is on it it'll look something like this again the colours aren't coming up as they should be but I think that'll look cute I'm going to print both off now and see what they look like the backing card designs just on my greeting card paper so that I can see what they look like but I am actually going to send these off to Vista print to be printed that's where I get my business cards printed and they have like a really nice satin finish and they're really thick um, so I think they'll make good enamel pin backing cards as well but I'm really happy with how these look and the colours um, so I absolutely love the smiley rainbow one especially it's just the the peach one I don't know if you can see very well but the logo at the top is quite hard to read like especially the by milli bit um so I might have to rethink that but I think when I get it like properly printed it would be okay I think it's just because of the card I'm using and I'm not really sure what other color I would do it so who knows I'll just show you the rainbow one up close as well so this is a rainbow one it's super cute with the clouds on and things hopefully it's focusing <laughs> um, but yeah I think they'll look really nice with the pins on as well in the middle um, yes yeah, so I've got three more of those to design I'm not going to do them today though um, I think I'll just leave it at those two for now but I think on all of them, I want my logo to be at the top like they are on these. And then the description at the bottom as to what the enamel pin is. And I also want like little sparkles on all of them like I've got on there. Um, just to make them a little bit like cohesive, but they'll all be different, which will be super cute. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you the pastel crates that I've bought to organise my top, top shelf on this shelving unit here. So I bought these from Fluorescence store. I'll put her logo here or her Instagram, but her store is beautiful. It's an online shop. Um, but I got three of these midi crates, they're called. So I've got this lovely green one, which is the shade Melon, I think. Um, it does have like a little bit of a yellowy tinge to it as well. And then I got this one here i've not put it up yet but it's this lovely um i think it's called arctic blue the color but i think this one might be my favorite and then we've got oh i don't know this one might be i love all of them <laughs> this one whoops is the shade baby pink um but it's so bright i love it so i'm gonna set those three up i don't think all three will fit on my top shelf so I might just have to use two and then I'll have to think of another use for the third one, but I'm sure I'll find one. So yeah, let's set those up now. so cute now i've got my light box here i think this was from primark my sister bought me at one christmas and then i've just put all of the mugs in this pink one and then just some like miscellaneous bits in this green one 
um, just as extra storage but yeah I'm really happy with that I love the pink and green and then I think I'll find another place for the blue one so I think I'm going to love you and leave you now I really hope you've enjoyed this studio vlog I feel like it might be a little bit shorter than my other ones I feel like I've not filmed an awful lot today because I've just been busy trying to get those orders out. I'm stood up and out of breath because I've just been trying to take the thumbnail for this YouTube video and I've had to hold all 180 orders in my arms and it was extremely heavy. So yeah, that explains that. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna leave the vlog here. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you found it interesting. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do if you'd like to see more of my videos. I'm uploading a studio vlog every single week and there'll be other videos here and there as well about running a small business, doing craft markets, things like that. So, yes, if you haven't subscribed, join us. I'd love to meet you, say hi in the comments. And also, if you give this video a like, that would really help me out and help other people find this channel as well, which would be really good. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.